over Santos with a win here with Nathan Paulso who's since gone into the Tycoons Platinum Stars and uh, now an opportunity from the edge of the penalty area from Luyan Nachlongwa not the most convincing of efforts nice to see that Eric Matoho is covering he's a very tall centre back and I'll tell you what he's an exceptional player he's got a future in the game as uh, Eric Matoho is just 21 years old and I think that uh, he's going to be watched for the future as far as not only Blue Protein Celtic are concerned They've got all the ammunition when it comes to pace. Santos clearly in the beginning of the match, really on the defensive. A little slip up there from Matoho, but he recovers very nicely. Now it's Peña Mongola. Build up from the back and use their midfielders. And that's why we have the likes of Chimozzi being part of the team. But then Celtic supporters that have come into the stadium here at the Athlone Park. It very nicely renovated for the FIFA World Cup Finals. Opportunity for Flongwa into the area, not the most convincing defending, and but Kela get a of a Blumberg and Celtic in certain respects. It's going to be interesting to see how the opportunities are taken. Lots of responsibility out on the left hand side for Son Buikdi, playing in the place of Solomon King, who uh, played in the previous match against Orlando Pirates, but is suffering from an injury. And Isaac's not able to work his way past Matoho, who gets Buikdi, but no problems at all for Tabo and Tato and Tete. Talk about a team that has uh, been undergoing some and, uh, not afraid to shoot with the left boot, and you can see how much more confident some quickly is with the left boot than he was with the right because the opening attack on the game once again from the left hand side looking for Chimonzi. Chimonzi's been mighty impressive now. Bossy breaks down the right hand side, but Chimonzi goes much more the direct route away by Mulenga. Good, then that's what there's so much maturity on him when it comes to positioning. Great technique in terms of shooting at goals. And great technique from Toho to win the ball away. He's got a goal for Keza Chiefs some week. I think it was at uh, Lucas Masterpieces Muripe. A free kick taken by Ricardo Skippers. Now explain that one to me, Mr. Brian Mate. Matoho goes into the challenge, knocks over Zanguiki, who goes off for, a, for an injury break. Matoho with a clearance once again, still Matoho, second bite of the cherry, spots some space out on the far side, it's a delightful ball out towards Gamildi again down the left-hand side, looking for possession, Mangala has it back, and the change of uh, direction quickly, Pinslela. Muteni, full of tricks. One man who's not full of tricks just yet is Jonathan Armagam, he's been kept rather quiet, gets past Kurs Bay, way by Matoho, still the pressure coming from on the left hand side he's got some uh, a few great goals for the team Zaren van still not able to find a way through though Tobo and Tete and Matoho really are a pillar of strength Good. so Tipper Motone knocked away by Matoho cover comes in the middle of the park from uh, I'll hold it to it. Matoho clears. Rather surprising that we didn't see Clifford Mulenga. Possession this time from Clifford Mulenga. And away comes Santos. They've got so much pace down either flank at the moment. Should have been played early. So quick. Because one had he pulled off earlier. Runs into Wayne Orenson. And then eventually the ball is cleared away from the danger zone by Kefile. It's been impressive, very solid in that defensive midfield, Kefile. Tabo and Tete trying to escape from Wayne Orenson, opening up half 1-0, so far it's 1-1 in the second half. Tete shows a little bit too much of the ball to Warner, now to Monty. Warner, oh it's a lovely challenge from Toho. And still Santos looking rather adventurous, Chimonzi space wide for Erwin Isaacs Isaacs first time ball Matoho Matoho heads away to the right Luyanda 